So what are the top interior design strategists saying for social media in 2019? Is it even working? Is it driving the results that people thought it would? That is the rabbit trail I've been chasing. I've literally read, I don't even know how many articles on the topic, watched over eight hours of video on YouTube, all trying to gather what are the experts saying in 2018 going into 2019 for social media strategy for interior designers. Hi, I'm Michelle from Interior Design Influencers, and this has been my question. I've divided this growth strategy into a few main areas. Those are, what are the biggest challenges interior designers face with social media? What are the platforms that are delivering and what can you expect from each platform? And finally, a summary, pros, cons, consensus, what did I learn from this crazy journey? The biggest challenge across everything I did in research was consistently finding new customers. And this is an interesting paradigm. There's a study by Home Trust International with Unity Marketing indicate that in 2018, 76% of the interior designers they surveyed are using social media. But only 17% of those said that they could trace the trackable results. Also, Forbes is saying that almost all of the interior designers they are interviewing are expected to grow their social media platform in 2019. This is a very interesting parallel and paradox to me. If it's not working the way they thought, why would they be increasing next year? So let's say possibly in your own house, you need a service oriented business. It could be your roof went out, your AC, whatever it might be. What are you going to do? The first thing you're probably gonna do is pick up your cell phone and text your 10 closest friends to see if they have a recommendation. If they do, you're probably then going to go to the internet and Google them and check them out. If that didn't work, you may expand your research a little bit further. Maybe you're going to go to a neighborhood group that you're a part of, or maybe your Facebook friends, or some group where you can expand your reach a little bit further to try to get a few names. Again, then you're going to go to their website and check them out. If neither of these work, that's when you're going to have to really rely on something like a Google search. This is where your social media play really comes in. If I am Googling someone, my social media algorithms are going to help drive my name, or your name in this case, higher up the food chain in the rankings on a Google search. So an air conditioning person in this case that has a wide social media presence is going to rank higher in search than you are unless you've really tweaked the SEO or search engine optimization rankings a different way. Social is a great free way to do this without having to really pay or to really build out over a length of time a really robust website with a lot of word content. In the context of these discussions, we are really trying to examine growth patterns related to social media. If they are all relative to the interest and awareness phase, we need a better understanding of which platforms can drive from social media over to a further action. We always want to be getting people off of the social media awareness sites and onto a platform like a website where they can take action or a phone call. This next video, we will explore the five top recommended platforms and what you as an interior designer can expect from each of them.